COVID testing in India dipped in the festive season. It went under 1 million a day for at least five days. Also, do the numbers of cases being reported right now, have those numbers factored in the cases during festivals? Here's what Delhi Ames director Randeep Guleria had to say. Just focus on, on, on the deaths at the moment and the total deaths in Delhi, for instance, have crossed the 8,000 mark. Delhi is suddenly in the last week averaging almost 100 deaths a day. Why is Delhi seeing this sharp rise in COVID-19 deaths? So there is an increase in the number of deaths. There used to be a time when the number of deaths was only around 20 to 30 per day. Now it's really close to 100 per day. Uh, although the number of cases have increased, but what we've noticed in the hospital are two things. One is that we are getting more and more sick patients and especially those with comorbidities. Remember the winter season and with air pollution, it's not a good time as far as people with chronic diseases are concerned, especially respiratory and heart diseases. And therefore many individuals who have an underlying heart or lung disease who get COVID-19 uh, have not only a compromised uh, lung function or, or their uh, basic uh, underlying disease gets compromised, hmm. the combination of pollution, cold air and COVID-19 causes them to really have more severe illness, which is, could also be contributing to the number of deaths. There is a, a need for all of us to really start doing what we call a death audit to see what are the factors which are contributing to it and what are the correctable factors that we can bring in place it could be also late uh, arrival to hospitals mm. or um, uh, things like that, which we also need to sort of uh, look at. So a death audit needs to be done to see how right. we can bring down the rate like what it was in the past. So is it only factors like air pollution, winter, etc. that have contributed to this? Or uh, you know, would you say that the infection per se, the virus per se has become more severe? I don't think there's enough evidence to say that the virus has mutated and now we are getting more severe illness. Uh, remember, there is uh, for any illness, there is uh, the vector, which is the virus, the host and the environment. These three factors play a role. So the vector, that is the virus, seems to not have changed much. The environment has changed and the host has also evolved that now the infection is being seen in people with comorbidities and, and right. the older age group, which we know are at higher risk. Uh, but I think there is a need for us to really look at this. It is a cause of concern because uh, we don't want people should die now right. when we are talking about vaccine being there around the corner.